Hey guys, it's Misty, and I just wanted to share my I Am Rose project with you guys. And I um, thought of a gazebo when I thought of In the Garden. That was the theme for the I Am Roses YouTube contest. And I haven't seen anybody um, alter a gazebo or make a gazebo, so I decided to actually make one myself, and I completely made the whole thing from scratch. And um, other than the decorating, everything else is actually made out of this whiteboard. And you can get this board at Joann's. It's 12 by 12 sheets. I probably used close to 10 sheets to make this. And it's um, it's kind of like lightweight chipboard. So it's um, really easy to um, bend and cut and maneuver. And so um, to make this, I did not have a template. So I just kind of went with um, whatever was in my head at the time when I was making it. And I really wanted it to be um, octagon. I just thought it would look more um, elegant, and so I made the I made the top first, and then um, I painted it with uh, white acrylic paint, sage green acrylic paint, and then my folk art crackle medium, and then um, I just I made like everything, all this um, railing here. Um, it's about quarter inch, and I even made the little toppers, and then. Um, I made this lattice here, and a little tip, if you guys uh, make lattice, and for little sections like this, I actually had to have three sections for the back, so I actually made a full 12 by 12 lattice, and I just cut um, quarter inch strips, and then just kind of, um, you know, did one row, and then went back and did the other row, and and I used my Zig 2A glue. The hot glue um, became a little tedious and messy from all the strings. So I ended up using my two-way glue, and it was a lot faster. And um, so then I just made a little, I measured and made a little template of what size I would need. And then I just placed the template uh, on the lattice, um, the, this, um, like, catty-cornered. And then I just cut it out, so it was a lot easier than having to make three little specific ones and trying to be precise. Um, and then I covered this back side here with um, six inch flat lace and this is in white and then I decorated the um, on the inner part right there I use I just did some swagging with the same um, flat lace and some white tool and then some one inch I am roses that I painted with the Lindy Stamp Gang frosted forget-me-nots and also if you guys make stuff like this um, it's really good to decorate the inside before you close it all up um, so if you have like the bottom or the top off, in this case, um, I didn't have the bottom on, but I had everything else constructed and I went ahead and decorated it and then it made it a lot easier. Um, and then I also um, made some posts for up here for the front part and I did some more swagging and instead of using the one inch, I actually used um, the one and a half inch roses and then I went and took some of this really pretty trim. And I placed it on the bottom part, and I made the bottom part um, actually stand up about a about a half an inch or so, um, so I could um, do some trimming. And then on the top part here, I used like this really really pretty um, uh, rose trim, and it's like a like a um, distressed rose trim. It is just really really pretty. I've never used it before, so I'm really happy. And it was in white, and I also sprayed it with the frosted forget-me-nots. And then I placed some more of this trim up here. And then for the top, I did some more of the I Am Roses. Um, in the large ones and then the smaller ones. And I left the green backing, the leaves, on these ones. And um, I took them off, the backing on these, because it just didn't go well. And then um, the last thing I did was on the side, I just put some dangle trim on both sides. And then I just put some of the the little sequins flower trims to cover the ribbon. So I guess I hope you really like it and um, it's not super super colorful I wanted it to be more elegant and I definitely wanted it to be um, like more shabby chic and um, I'm really starting to get into shabby chic so that's what I completely totally um, envisioned and also blue is my favorite color so I kinda went with the blue and I'm actually gonna use this as a display case because it actually has about 8 inches on the inside um, wide and about 6 inches tall on the inside. So it's um, 
it's a pretty good to display maybe um, I collect fairies so I'm probably gonna end up putting a fairy in it and putting it in my living room so you guys um, thank you so much for watching and thank you guys for hosting there will be a um, picture show at the end of this um, so you can get some closer up looks and you can also go to my blog it'll also be on my blog thanks so much guys happy scrapping bye Thank you.